it's Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm. Um, I was fixing to start dinner and I realized I didn't really um, have any pudding mix left. I was going to do chocolate pudding. We're having tacos. And I was going to do chocolate pudding with the tacos. I pulled out my container and it was basically empty. I washed and cleaned out my container and I'm going to make a new chocolate pudding mix. Um, I got this recipe from a 1949 Department of Agricultural brochure that I got at an antique store years ago. And um, it, it works, it's easy, it's cheaper than buying the pudding mixes in the store, and it works out well. So the first thing you're going to need is one and one third cup flour. I'm just gonna put the camera down on my container. Next, I'm going to need three cups of dry milk or powdered milk, whichever whatever you want to call it. You need two teaspoons of salt. I want two cups of sugar. Then we're going to add two cups of cocoa. Use um, non sweetened baking cocoa, not like um, Nestle Quick or something. I'm going to give it a stir and then I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to shake it up real good. Really shake it up good so you get it. You want it really mixed. Um, let's get my water going. You're going to, to use this, we're going to use a double... Um, if you don't have a double boiler, you can make one yourself by getting um, two pans, one that will fit in another one with room to put water in it. The way the double boiler works is you, you, have, you have a small pan that fits on top the water. The water boils and it allows for a slower cooking inside and the exposure to direct heat is minimized because uh, if you're melting something or something you don't want to burn. I've also put my four bowls on a cookie sheet that I'm going to be pouring the um, pudding into to put in the refrigerator, and I have my whisk. So um, as my water is getting hot, I'm going to get my milk out, and I need three cups of milk. And I'm going to mix in two cups of the pudding mix. Water is still heating up, but while it's heating up, I'm going to be I'm going to start mixing this up. It does take a while to get it all mixed and dissolved. Now, once the water gets boiling, we'll boil this for we'll boil it for 15 minutes, stirring constantly, and then I will be adding two tablespoons of butter and a teaspoon of vanilla. You can put the milk in the mix and if you have a, a mixer. You can also do it in the blender, I guess, too. And you can uh, blend it that way so it's very smooth before you put it in your um, double boiler pan. But since I forgot, I have to do this one.
And when it's time to pour it in my bowls, I'm going to actually pour it back into my one cup measure because I don't have a, this one doesn't have like a spell on the side of the pan. If you have a double boiler that has a pour spell, it makes it much more easy. And notice now I got about three minutes left and it's starting to get a little thick now. Okay, I'm almost at the end of my time, so I'm going to go ahead and add my butter so it'll start melting. Now you can use any kind of fat. Um, if you use lard, you can use that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat. I'm going to add my vanilla. Make sure you turn off your heat before you add your vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. Stir it in. Okay. I want to pour. Pull my pudding in here just to make it easier to pour into my bowls here. Okay, now I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. So the pudding's out. I'm fixed to put it on the table. And I will add, sometimes the pudding will set up. Before you start setting up, it won't get totally set up, but it starts setting up before you even get it in the fridge. When I was had my pan, the, the leftovers sitting there that had, you know got stuck on the pan while I was putting everything in the fridge, and I came back, it was already setting up, and I started just eating, eating it. I got to eat the, the remaining that I scraped off the sides of the pan. It was really yummy. So there we go. It's all set up. It will get like a skin on top. If you don't like the skin on top, you can put um, saran wrap over the top. And um, it will, when you pull the saran wrap off, it will pull the skin off. But we don't mind the skin. We just mix it in so it's not, big, not a big deal with us. Um, so there you have it. Um, easy chocolate pudding mix. I have it on my shelf now. I don't need to go buy those little boxes for $1.50 or whatever they are now. Or even the cheap ones are like $0.99. Cents. Um, and this makes about, it, these are like little, um, hmm, I don't know, half cup. It's more than a half cup. Probably I, that's probably a full cup of pudding in each one that I got. So um, it, it's, a, it's a generous portion for dessert. And it's nice if you put a little bit of whipped cream on the top. And um, it's really yummy. So this has been Angie with the Quick Chocolate Pudding Mix from Canterbury Cheryl's Farm. Thanks for joining us. Bye.